The humanitarian crisis in Iraq is now a level three emergency. That is the UN's highest level. The United Nations says that change will make it easier to mobilize more resources and get them faster to the people in need. According to UN estimates, more than 1.2 million people have been displaced since January. In northern Iraq, thousands of people are still trapped on Sinjar mountain. Attacks by the group, the Islamic State, have forced tens of thousands of people to flee their homes. Most of the people are from minority groups. The poison of hatred and brutality is spreading. The so-called Islamic State, IS, is a threat to Iraq, Syria, and the region. I'm profoundly dismayed by its barbaric acts, including accounts of summary executions, boys forcibly taken from their homes to fight, girls abducted. The Security Council is expected to add Islamic State militants to its list of Al-Qaeda associates subject to financial sanctions and an arms embargo. Meanwhile, the Security Council is disappointed that the fighting between government and rebel forces in South Sudan is not letting up. The Security Council visited South Sudan earlier this week. Thousands of people have been displaced by fighting that broke out last year between the political leaders. Now, a famine is predicted. It's been rather disappointing. Um, we've had engagements with President Keir and with uh, Rekh Machar, but we did not hear much from them that gave us hope that there would be rapid agreement in the talks in Addis Ababa. Council members stressed they were ready to apply sanctions against anyone threatening the peace talks. The council also visited Somalia, the first such visit in 20 years. It comes as the government prepares to launch the next phase of military operations against al-Shabaab insurgents. No early end to the outbreak of Ebola. The virus is already affecting more than one million people. Some of them could be treated with untested drugs. A panel convened by the World Health Organization says it is ethical to use untested medical interventions to try to save lives. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon appointed David Navarro as the senior United Nations system coordinator for Ebola. He will be working in support of the WHO. The agency designated Ebola a public health emergency of international concern, but it says that should not stop people from flying. Unlike the flu or tuberculosis, Ebola is not airborne. The United Nations is teaming up with Malala Yousafzai on Monday. She is the Pakistani schoolgirl who was shot by the Taliban. She is now an education advocate. Malala will join Mr. Ban in an interactive event about the Millennium Development Goals known as the MDGs. There are 500 days left to get them done.